Hi again. Uh, let's uh, move on on uh, life annuities. So we need to look at life annuities that the payment is not necessarily at the beginning of the year, but uh, it might be at the end of the year. So let's look at a situation where we have uh, what we call immediate life annuity. But just recall what we did in previous uh, previous uh, in the previous session. We looked last time at uh, a situation that you have a life age X and then we looked at AX here. We looked at AX and two dot to say the payment of one dollar every year. So the green one is one at the beginning of the year. Now, and this one, what we looked at it, we said we discounted the first one is 1 plus V, you need to survive to get it, PX, plus then V2, DPX. Now, we want to look at another situation here. Instead of uh, payment uh, is made at the end of the, uh, at the beginning of the year, we need the payment to be made at the end of the year. And at the end of the year is AX without the two dots, right? And this one, if you call this one, we call it uh, uh, life annuity due. This one is due. This one is life. Life annuity immediate. And life annuity immediate, there is no two dot, but remember the difference between them, the two dot on top of the A. If there is a bar, it's continuous. Right? So this one here, what it pays, it pays us, let's put it, uh, the black one here, it pays us at the end of the year. So the beginning of the year is zero at the end of the year. So this is AX and this one is AX right. and if you want to discount it now let's look at the black one the at the zero so we don't have any payment then we start with this one is V the first the first term here VPX plus V2 2 px you need to survive two years to get this dollar plus 3p2vx right so like this is straightforward but what is the relationship i mean you can recognize that there is a relationship between them right you can write away if you want you can write ax is equal to look at the black compared with the green one so it's equal to the green one But you need to subtract from it this one. Let me use different color here. This is the extra one we need to subtract. Minus. Right? You can see it right away. You Sometimes you, you compute it directly here using this notation, but if you don't, using this formula, but if you don't, if you already given a uh, like the life annuity due, you don't need to calculate the life annuity immediate from the beginning. You just you subtract one from it. It's straightforward, right? I mean, you can formulate it in 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 different ways as well. Uh, 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 like you can formulate it with uh, other formulas that we talk in the other case. We're not gonna go over them, but just like to understand that you can move from one to another. But let's take a more challenging example. What if it's tem, uh, like temporary uh, annuity, temporary life annuity? So let's take, it's better to understand it with example. Now this example is what it gives us that given a x and this is now is a term. You are given also 20 E 
x is equal to 0.25. The question is what we want to want is to find a x 20. Actuarial math, we need to be very careful about notation. You don't see this is it tells us this one, the one that we need to find. Payments are made at the end of the year. It's not straightforward to subtract one because this is term insurance. So it's very important to draw a line. Always I visualize it, it helps me to understand. So this is x, this is x plus 20. I add also an, uh, sub, uh, x19, add 1, 2. It's all about understanding the pattern here. Let's look at what we are given. We're given a two dots. Look, a What is it? What is the payment here? This is because the two dots here, it tells us that we need to the payment to collect it at the beginning of the year. But if you keep going here, at time 19, you get one, you don't get benefit at the 20 because you got it at the beginning of the year. Now we compare it with what we are asked to do is AX20. And the, oh, let's use different color here. It helps us to see it, maybe different color. AX20. The AX20 does not give you a time zero or a time X here, like this is X plus zero. Uh, It does not give you any payment at time zero at the beginning of the year. It actually gives you at the end of the year. So we need, and now we compare between them. We see the difference. We have situation here we need to handle and another situation at the end. So now if you relate them to each other, we have let's we can relate it the way we wanted you know to each other but let's have this a x 20 so we started with this one what it's equal firstly let's take that there is one here we have one you add to it the a x 20 uh, um yeah And then we need to subtract from it. Right, so if you add this, you add this one, and you have extra one here, we need to subtract this one. But this one is at the end of 20 years, actuarial value of it is one multiplied by 20 EX, correct? Right, so again, we split the A, two dots uh, like the annuity uh, do we split it into one this one then you add to it this series let me we add to it this series you add this and then you add this right so now once you do this one, it becomes easy. You have one plus this one is, uh, well, this, what's, let's see what's given. We given 11.97, 11.971. 11 this is what we are looking for. And we need to subtract one minus t, uh, this one, which is 2.25. Uh, if you use your calculator straightforward, there is nothing difficult here. You have 11.97, you subtract 1, you add 0.25, you should get AX20 is equal to 11.25. Oh, just one second, let me make sure I got it right. 1.97 minus 1.
So it's straightforward if you just get the uh, uh, formulation correctly, that uh, will be a straightforward question, right? So it's important to visualize the point I wanted to say, uh, even if I give you a question that even we didn't cover, it's simple. The logic is there. You visualize it and then compare between what you have and then you can uh, calculate it. Now, let's move to another, another topic now. But before the other mo uh, topic, let's review review interest again. And what I wanted to review from interest theory, a concept of uh, like uh, uh, I, I M, and D, and D M. I is the interest rate, annual interest rate. D is the discount rate. And the relationship between D and I is that D is equal I, I, uh, uh, sorry, 1 plus I. This is the first one. Now, the relationship between I and I am, and this is, we need to understand, this is I is the interest rate, effective interest rate, annual effective interest rate. This I is the interest rate compounded during the M period. So if it's quarterly, then it's compounded quarterly. So what is the equivalent or what is the annual nominal annual interest rate when interest rate is uh, compounded uh, quarterly, right? So, or this is uh, M in general. So the relationship between them is I M we find I M by taking uh, it M multiplied by one plus I, the annual interest rate to raise it over one over M subtract one. It's very important, you know, concept to keep in our mind while we discussing. Now let's look at the relationship between this and this. D and DM. D is the discounting rate. Now, the same logic, DM is the discounted rate, the nominal discounting rate, the annual nominal discounted rate when the discounting happens every mth period, not the whole year, but mth period. And this is the relationship between them is DM, right? And M, it tells us uh, like the, how many uh, periods in the year that the discounting happen is simply M. Now, 1 minus V, you know what V is 1 over 1 plus I, right? And this one is raised to M. Right? This one we need all uh, to remember them. We don't need to forget anything of these guys. Oh, sorry, uh, V to 1 over M. Sorry, 1 over M I meant. We need to remember all these guys, right? Like not, not forget anyone. Let's take one example. Let's take example here. We did, we did the I and D, I, M. Let's take one on D, M. So I is equal 0 0.06. Find D, 4. So D4, we, what we need to do is, or uh, it's simply you take this application 4, multiply by 1 minus V to 1 over 4. Let's calculate it. You start with V, I usually 1.06, flip it. I got V, then I raise it to 1 over 4. Then I subtract it from row one. Then I multiply it by four. So you get D four to be 0 0.05784. So we need to keep this in uh, in our mind in our calculation when we do calculation remember this uh, this formula why we need that because now we're moving to another topic here the other topic we are moving to is 
like life annuity annuity so this life annuity that gives you a payment with m3 payment so it gives us an m3 payment so m3 payment uh, 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 like at the, the like uh, at the beginning of the year if it's uh, uh, what we looking at right if it's the uh, annuity due so let's look at uh, what visualize what we mean here so let's take example what if m equal to so what does m equal to is pay, uh, payment twice a year so if m is two uh, payments if uh, uh, twice a year every six months if m is a 12 it's the usual monthly payment but let's start with m equal to because it's easier to visualize it's not too many components so you have an x individual uh, a life age x then you have x plus one But the payment is two. Now we split the one dollar. So payment amount will be one over M, right? But M is two, then it will become one over half, one over two, which is half in this case, right? So now you give half a dollar here because it's at the beginning of the year. We're looking at, we're trying to evaluate A two. What is A two? And this, Two here it tells us that the payment the uh, m3 payment twice a year but the one dollar now we split it into uh, two periods because it's two we used to give the dollar at the beginning of the year now we give it uh, at the beginning of each six months right and now 1.5 Right. So we give a payment of half, half, one over M, right? So how we evaluate this payment, how this series of payment is simple, right? Because the first one is half, why it's, uh, there is no discounting, it's at the beginning of the period. The second payment here, it's the half you have here, then you multiply it with the V. What is V? Is V to one half. Then you multiply it with the probability of, of you surviving to this one. The probability of you to survive to Px, right? So for, this is for the first half. The, uh, here. Now, now we're taking this one now. This one will be another half pay dollar. Now V Px plus another half. Now V 1.5, 1.5 Px. Right? And you continue. You can evaluate it this way. I mean, you can, you can, uh, you can also like this one way to calculate it. You can factor out the one half outside, right? You can factor it out. But this is one way to do it. But obviously, this will take us a long time to to compute. There is another way that again under using what we call it uh, UDD uniform distribution of uh, death assumption we can also recognize that this two or well, let's make it the general form here instead of two let's keep it the general m is one minus a m which we did it before divided want you to look here dm not im And A, M, we already did it before, right? If you remember A, M, we already did it before. We said it's I over I, M. Multiply by A, X. Right? We already did this one uh, before. So uh, it's very important, you know, like to, to see. So if you want to calculate this one, you first calculate the uh, capital AXM, 
then calculate dm given you know like we already took the equation for dm let's take one maybe example here so we can understand what what we mean the example let's take interest is zero six percent let's take ax is uh, 0.8663 this is a question we did before and under udd find we want to find uh, a let's find the 12 month All right let's do that how we can find find this one let's start with the equation i usually we write the equation and then see what's missing this one is one a capital uh, sorry 12 divided by d 12 we need to calculate now 1 a x 12 which is i over i 12 a x right now i is 6 percent i 12 is 12 1 minus uh, sorry 1 let me just correct it 1.06 raised to 1 over 12 minus 1 and our ax here is 8663 and you do it all at once in your calculator it should be straightforward i'll start with the denominator 1.06 i raise it to a reciprocal of 12 which is uh, 1 over 12 then i subtract 1 then multiply by 12 then i flip this one again multiply it by 0 0.06 so i got this one is 1 0 to 721 multiplied by 0.8663 so I got this one to be 0.889873 and this is our AX12 what else we need we got the AX we need now the D12 Let's do the D12. D12, we use the same uh, formula that we uh, did, which uh, uh, we have a 12. 1 minus V to 1 over 12. Right? So now we start with the V. 1.6, then raise it to 12. 1 minus this guy and now multiply by 12 you would get this d12 to be 0 5 8 1 2 7 don't delete it from your calculator you know keep it in your calculator because it's very important to keep it in your calculator now then we go here we have everything here uh, 1 under dd 1 minus this one we already calculated it to be 0 0.889873 divided by 12. I usually keep all decimals in the calculator everything calculated it's in the calculator so I don't lose anything And this is what I got, which is 1.8945777, right? All right, so we finished this one. Now, uh, in next session, we'll look at uh, uh, how you can use uh, the life tables uh, that are provided by Society of Actuaries to compute certain statistics, all right?